Hey everyone, it's me Hunter, coming back at you with another uh, video today. Again, uh, it's going to be a Thomas and Friends video today. Uh, today we actually have towed the brake van. <clears throat> uh, reason being is because I had all these parts lying around and I just remembered the character. I was like, oh yeah, I can build this character and I had all the parts. So it was just one of those, like, I put zero money into making this model and it felt so nice to be able to build something with just my own stuff. <clears throat> now, now that being said, obviously I got the parts from somewhere, so it's not completely free, but I didn't have to order in anything specifically for this build, which is nice. Um, but uh, as many people uh, or many fans of the TV show probably know, Toad, the brake van, is based off of a Toad Great Western brake van. Um, actually, I had this character built, and he was, I want to say, four, no, two studs shorter. Um, and he didn't look bad. He looked all right. But I picked up the cargo train set, and I've been mo I modified everything that came in it, or I'm in the process of modifying everything that came in it. And I didn't need another flatbed because I already turned one of the other cars in that into a flatbed. So I said, why don't, why don't I move the toad I already had built and put him on this new, uh, a, a different sized, I guess, chassis is the best way to put it. And came out phenomenal. The only issue with... Um, you know, that, once I got made it bigger, was there's a gap right here in the middle. But in a sense, I almost kind of like it. Um, you know, in the future, I might try to go ahead and get rid of it. But for right now, I actually like it. Because uh, it just separates the detailing on the side, which looks fantastic. Uh, I really do enjoy. Um, another kind of complaint would be that uh, this part's a little flimsy. As you can see, it's only held on by a couple studs. But once it's going around the track and you're not messing with it... Uh, it's perfect. There's no issues with it. But my favorite part about this model is, I know you can see some red in there, so I'll probably switch that, but is his face. I don't know how or why, but it just, his face came out very nice. I felt, it felt very accurate to the character in the TV shows, especially if you go back to the classic model era. Um, I felt <clears throat> it, it really pro portrayed showed the character whatever you want to call it so that's uh, one of my one of the nice things about uh this build or at least my favorite part i got the buffers on either side i didn't add in coupling back uh here by his face i know he does and i know he can but for right now with the model i didn't think it was needed um since i kind of you know always plan on him being a brake van you know facing backwards as usual i didn't plan on doing anything or adding in the coupling down there i plan on kind of saving those parts for other builds uh the roof i actually you know as i said as i made it bigger i had to expand but uh i really like the way it turned out originally i was just going to go like two bows on either side you know just to smooth all the way up top but i decided to step back and think of a new way to do it using the wedges i think i'm going to go ahead and try to find um a whole bunch of uh one by twos instead of one by one wedges just because i think it'll look a little nicer or, um, I mean, it doesn't look bad, don't get me wrong, but I think it's just kind of one of those fine details that could just make it look better. As I went through to make this model, I'll show you, uh, this, actually I'll show you the back of Toad. Um, one of the big things I went through is how I wanted to design the structure, as in, you know, what do I want the detailing to look like. I went back and forth between just using flat bricks and then these, uh, this is the back side of the masonry brick. Um, the problem was, is using the flat brick, you know, it was too, nah. And then I just only used the masonry bricks and it felt like it was too much. It was coming at you. But all the um, kind of trucks and stuff have that kind of paneling look to them. But once I added in this detailing on the sides of Toad, you know, because it covers up half of it. You can see the other half of it just like in the uh, uh, TV show. And I think it came out great. I think this is one of those models that, um, you know, maybe I can modify, maybe make it even two studs longer. Because I know it's not a really tall brake van, but definitely it went from being a little bit more short and stout to being a little longer when I made this change, and it looks phenomenal. Uh, the running boards came across very nice. They're only held on um, by a couple studs, but like I said, they look good. They they uh, play the role, and once it's uh, he's moving down the line... There's really no issues with him. Um, obviously, the other side's the, sh the same. I'll go ahead really quick, try to take off the roof without uh, blowing up the whole model. 
I'm just because I think as many people who build with Lego know, even when you make the roof uh, detachable, sometimes it doesn't always play nice. But when you take the roof off, I'm going to back up the tray. I'll turn it. Um, I got a chair back in there. I didn't put too much detail into the inside because obviously the roof's always going to be on. Um, but I just have a chair, a little table with two mugs, then obviously the brake wheel, the brake lever, whatever you want to call it. Um, but that's pretty much it for Toad. Uh, again, a very, I, I want to say simple model, but at the same time, there's just a lot the kind of uh, details that went into them that I never thought I was going to have to do. There we go. But that is Toad. Try to keep this video a little on the short side. Um, before I go, though, uh, something I want to ask is I've been putting work, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know it, you've already seen both of them, but I've actually built two custom character engines, so engines that don't actually exist in the Thomas and Friends timeline, but I had a lot of fun just trying out to build different models. Please comment below if you would like to see those models. Um, they are built, they are done. Um, you know, I may share them in, like, if I do a Steam Engine Fleet video, I'd probably share them in that. But let me know if you want a separate video uh, for each of those uh, builds. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.